Hello, my name is Eliza. I have recently become interested in astronomy. I don't necessarily know that much about it as of right now, but I'm definitely looking, to, looking forward to learn more. The image behind me is of the Andromeda Galaxy, which was taken through one of SLU's telescopes last week. Unfortunately, it is not from tonight due to bad weather. The Andromeda Galaxy was formed five to nine million years ago as a result of a collision between many smaller galaxies. It is a cluster. It is part of a cluster of galaxies called the Local Group, which consists of 30 galaxies in total. Andromeda is special to us because it is the closest galaxy to the Milky Way, our home. Andromeda is 260,000 light years in diameter, which basically means that in, it would take 260,000 years to get from one side of Andromeda to the other in this, going at the speed of light. Another reason why Andromeda is so special is because of its massive size. You can actually see it from Earth with the naked eye, even though it's roughly 2.5 million light years away, which is very fascinating. Now I'm going to hand over the presentation to Ella. Hello, my name is Ella Pellucci. To follow up on what Eliza was saying, Andromeda is moving very fast towards our Milky Way galaxy at a speed of approximately 140,000 meters per second. So if you can imagine a meter stick like the one here, imagine something moving a distance of 140,000 of these every second. Even moving at this incredible speed, it will, it will still take Andromeda roughly 4 billion years to merge with our Milky Way galaxy. The merge, however, will be extraordinary. If you are standing in Connecticut in 4 billion years, the night sky will look a lot like this photo behind me. Despite the fact that Andromeda is a lot bigger in size than the Milky Way, the Milky Way has a much bigger mass. Andromeda's mass is roughly 400 billion solar masses. A solar mass is basically just the mass of a sun. So Andromeda's mass is 400 billion times bigger than the mass of the sun. If you think that's big, the Milky Way's mass is 600 billion solar masses. Now I'm going to hand the presentation over to Isabel, who's going to tell you more facts about Andromeda. Hi, I'm Isabel Martin, and I'm going to tell you a few fun facts about the Andromeda Galaxy. It has over 1 trillion stars, while the Milky Way only has 100 billion. It has a star cluster in its heart and at least one massive black hole. As Eliza said earlier, you can see Andromeda with the naked eye. All you have to do is look up into the northern, set, northern sky and you'll see it. It's surrounded by these constellations up here. Cepheus, Cassiopeia, Perseus, and Cetus. The galaxy is named after a Greek princess and some of the surrounding constellations are named after people in her story. Andromeda is the daughter of Cepheus and Cassiopeia, the king and queen of Ethiopia. Cassiopeia claimed she and her daughter were more beautiful than the sea nymphs, also known as Nereids. The Nereids felt insulted by this and complained to the god of the sea, Poseidon, who then threatened to send a flood and a sea monster to, the king to destroy the kingdom of Ethiopia. So and Andromeda's father asked a local priest what to do. The priest said the only way to save Ethiopia was to chain Andromeda to a sea cliff. So then she was chained to a sea cliff to be devoured by the horrible creature. Perseus, the nephew of the king of the city of Argos, noticed her as he was sailing by and instantly fell in love with her. He promised to rescue Andromeda if her parents allowed him to marry her. Cassiopeia and Cepheus accepted. Perseus killed the monster with the head of Medusa. Then, and then he and Andromeda got married and lived happily ever after. Thank you so much for watching tonight. We hope that our presentation has brought out an interest in the amazing universe and space around us. We hope that you bring your involvement in the night sky to your schools and encourage your peers to look up. Now we are going to go back to Bob in the studio.